guys, it's you, Kitty, with a news update. For all of you who weren't able to make it to Comic Con, don't fret. There is great news. Vess has some books left from the convention. So she put together an exclusive limited supply bundle for all of the first Celestial Pulse fans. So, if you want to get your copies of issues 1 and 2 signed, along with some exclusive prints and a free trinket, send a message to VesseniaLindsay at gmail.com. Celestial Pulse Comic Con Signature Bundle for $20 plus shipping. Hey guys, it's Fess, and today I have another episode, Mango in the Making, and um, we're going to talk about logos. So we're going to talk about basically generating your title. Um, the reason why I decided to do logos first is because um, this is what I did first. I had my story, and then I worked on my logo because my story was already there, written, and it was... Um, I didn't want to continue it and it didn't have a logo it didn't have like a name because it was nameless you know and I didn't have a name for um I didn't have a name for my manga and my comics so what um what happened was uh when I first pulled it out of well <laughs> my husband pulled out celestial post from where it was nameless and everything and bless <sighs> blew the dirt off of it <laughs> um, uh, we started looking at the names that I did have so um I think the first name I had was demon knight but being that there was vampire knight and I seen that before you know um I was like eh, no that's not gonna happen I'm not gonna name it that that's not good so um I did look at um because again guys my stuff was drawing out already so being that it was drawing out you know i have vincent the good guy and all that um i did name it double take if you see right here it says double take and um that wasn't working either it made it seem more like double take is more like camera -y, like if you was you had a comic about a pop star or something like that that's what i thought in my brain and i was like that has nothing to do with my comic that's not gonna work so i gathered up <laughs> i gathered up my husband my sister-in-law and my other sister so um justin tay and maggie and um <laughs> we went ahead and we sat down in in my room and um i had the computer on and the first thing i thought of was oh they have um manga title generators and stuff like that so um you know justin was like really they have things like that i was like yeah so <laughs> we was clicking through them and you know nothing was really coming up that related to my manga at all so um we just started talking we was like like, okay what's celestial post about like what you what is this manga about and it wasn't celestial post at first you know it's like what well, what is this comic about so i was talking about the comic how it is you know the main character the reason behind her story her goals and everything like that so um we started um relating back to like fuji what's her origins so being that she has like these powers and stuff like that and i will say she's like uh, she has like godlike powers um you know we was thinking more of the term like okay she has like godlike power so maybe she's from heaven or something like that so we had heaven written down and then we started looking for words like we looked in the dictionary like the I think is what is called thesaurus or something like that <laughs> we started looking underneath uh the word heaven and finding different names for heaven so um celestial was one that we loved a lot it was like wow that, that one is pretty good it's catchy you know it hits you right in the face you know what it is so um after that while we was clicking and clicking and clicking uh you know there was this i think there was something that popped up that was like beats or something like that so i was like oh celestial beat what is that so they were like, oh, no, no. So I was, so they was like, why would you choose beat anyway? That's like for music and stuff like that. And I was like, no, it could be like beat as in heartbeat or, you know, just beating or something. And then I related back to Fuji's pendant and I was like, oh, her, um, her bracelet glows and it beats and stuff like that. So that 
could be something. So it was like, eh, I don't know about B, but, uh, you know, we started looking again in the dictionary what other words could be best to, you know, go ahead and make that word better. So um, we went ahead and we found pulse. So I like celestial pulse. That is catchy. So we was like, yeah, it's catchy. Yeah. So we, we um kept talking about it. Um, we sat, we slept on it, came back together, slept on it, came back together. And it turned out that Celestial Post was best for it. It was best with, for the story. It was best for everything in general. So um, I went ahead and I'm going to show you guys right here um, some of the logo ideas that I was doing. Um, but before I even do that, um, I want to show you guys what I was like playing with. So I, being that I do graphic designing and stuff like that, I know how to write out letters and stuff like that. Don't know why, but I'm a genius at that type of stuff. So, um, I wrote out letters to, you know, kind of go with what I was thinking. Cause I was thinking at first, uh, you know, with heavenly type of stuff, you want to think of like powers and stuff being very good, you know, not glittery, but glowing and stuff like that. So um, I went with, you know, just something that was like, you know, really swifty and scripty. And I didn't really like that too much. That's why I didn't finish it. And then I went ahead and I did like a heartbeat type stuff. So when I went ahead and I did that, I was like, oh, I really like that. So Justin was like, okay go into your program and start designing so um being that um he's also multimedia and graphic design he helped me with um coming up with some of the logos i'm gonna also show that right here i'm gonna show all that stuff that i had and um i came up with um i came up with the pulse like you see the heartbeat going through pulse and stuff like that and then i came up with um her pendant being part of pose and then i came up with the wings so i had one wing at first on one side and then i went ahead and i duplicated and made it you know symmetrical if you would like to call it like that i don't know <laughs> um, so um i went ahead i made it symmetrical stuff like that and it was like boom that's it right there so you know we came out with basically social pulse and then what I did to add a touch because I didn't have that energy. Like if you guys see right here, you see that little energy. Um, I didn't have that at first. So what happened was um, I was playing around with Pulse and figuring out like why Pulse existed. And uh, I was thinking of powers. So I was like, okay, let me throw like little glowing features in there. That's why I have the little glow in there. And, um, you know, let's see what that looks like. And it came out looking perfect. And I was like, I love it. So, um, Pulse was never intended to have any type of meaning. Like, um, it was supposed to be the title and that's that, you know, cause the celestial union was like a heavenly union between the kingdoms. So now Pulse was just there to be there. And then, um, as I started drawing chapter one and chapter two, I came to realize that actually Pulse is energy. And um, the reason why I came out, the fact that Pulse was energy was because my husband, he was like, um, we were talking about like how the power, how her power forms because he was like, oh, that was a pretty cool scene in the, um, in the first chapter where she was pushing Vincent away. Like that reminds, that, that looks like a Pulse, like, you know, she did it on impulse. So we was like, wait a minute, impulse, pulse, what? Wait a minute. It's energy. So it became energy. That's why now I call energy pulse. Like when it, when I talk about energy is pulse power. So now the title actually fits with the story. So yes, guys, this is my tips that I'm going to give you. So First things first, know what your story is about. You should have your story already written. It should be already in dialogue the way that I showed you guys. And you should already know the origin of your story, how it's going to end and everything. Just the story in, in its entirety. You should know it. And you should already have like a little um, summary in the background. Like you see how I have a summary back here of what Celestial Post is about? You're supposed to already have something like that. And this right here is going to help you with making your title. 
The next thing you need is um, sometimes a title generator will help because you can click certain things on um, the title generator. Like you can click what genre your story is about and it actually generates some pretty good words. And then you can actually sit there, go into the dictionary and pull out words that mean that same thing. So that's another thing. Go in the dictionary. Look at these words. Figure out what other words relate to that word and, you know, play with it, uh, play with different words, make different titles with it until you're completely satisfied. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to get a friend. Get You can get one friend, you get two friends, you can make it a group. Let them sit there, let them marinate in it, let them read your, like read a little snippet of your story or maybe that little, um you know, summary in the background and then put the title next to it or put, you know, sell them what does this, does this title work with the story or does this title sound catchy enough and relate to the story, you know, have them look at that stuff and sleep on it. Don't automatically jump on it because it's going to take some time and um it's just like your story your story is going to take time your title is going to take time and the thing is you want to do your title so that when you go ahead and you can you can sketch your heart's desire and do your mango and you'll be all right with your title so this is why we're doing titles first um yeah so make sure you guys sleep on it you know think about it the next morning read it again um, try to tie it into your story, you know, if it makes sense or not. And then um, after that, you start designing. And with designing, you go ahead, you take elements from your story and you create what is, um, you know, what works with your logo. Like if your character has a certain item on them that you want to, you know, put in there like uh, Zelda, you can do that um, if you want to go ahead and put uh, something that's like a meaning of something in there or the meaning to the title in there. You can do that because uh, Rave Master does that. I'm going to show you guys how it's like stony and then it has a sword in it. The reason why it's stony is because they're traveling, you know, they're going up and down mountains. It makes sense. And then they're fighting. So, you know, that you got the sword there, you know, you have to think about certain things when designing it. And then after that, have people look at it and have um, somebody with a good eye look at it and see which one works best for your story. I had a whole bunch of logos, guys, and my husband was helping me with logos also. So, you know, we had to debate on which one was the best for the story. And that's what you need. You need another eye to be looking at your stuff. Always have an, another eye looking at your stuff before you create it. And then um, after that, when you're complete with it, we can go on to the next stage. So the next stage that I'm I'm gonna be talking about is um, layouts and uh, you know box make manga panel making. <laughs> That's what it is. So um, we're gonna talk about manga panel making. It was supposed to be this episode, but again, guys, I want to take you down the route that I was I went down. So it's a slow journey, but it will benefit you in the long run. And this is like less things you have to think about as you're creating so that you can just go right into print once you're done so thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit that like that thumbs up <laughs> hit that thumbs up the like whatever is down there <laughs> and then if you guys um want to see more of uh, manga in the making helping artists all that please hit that subscribe somewhere down here and um that will keep you as um, part of the notification crew and every time I post a video because you know I post on Sundays and I post randomly within the week so um, you guys will be able to get all that you know notifications on when I go ahead and I post up and stuff like that so yes guys um again I am I have the contest up so if you guys still like oh I want to be on the contest and stuff like that I do have the link down below and you can go ahead and check out that contest so that you can you know go ahead and join the contest $50 guys let's do this um you can join whatever character character in the book um for those who have book two there's characters in there too guys so um yeah check that out so yes again guys thank you for watching the video um love you guys very much and have an amazing rest of the day bye bye